century. You have a happy holiday, people. And you bet all your money where I told you to. Oh, don't. Remain stupid and poor. And also, have a very Merry Christmas. Tommy. It's done, right? Hang on. We're going to repeat this verse again. Then there's another verse about the death cycle, which is that kind. This sucks. You walking out of KFC and you're stuffed till dinner. When you go back to KFC again. You have another 10 years left. Leela, he could live another 100 years. Hey, Zach Mile, let's kick it up a notch. What do you need, a drink? You want some pills? They blow out one of our engines. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. It came to me in a dream. It came to me in a dream. It came to a uh, Jenny and I in a dream. I know what you mean, I'm not really feeling that because I can't feel like humans, you know. If only there was some way. The engines don't move the ship at all. The ship stays where it is, and the engines move the universe around it. That's a complete load. Nothing's a complete load. Not if you can imagine it. How do I, KFC? I, I already told you, idiot. And I forgot it in another dream. Getty who? Getty Lee. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. My crush. I found my crush. I swore to God that he would be here. Yeah. Um, I hope he didn't die. Unless he left a note naming me his successor. Then I hope he did die. Why? No reason. No reason at all. When you turn 160, robots from the Sunset Squad take you to a mysterious planet and you never return. This is my stone cold suggestion of the century of whenever. No biggie. If a dog craps anywhere in the universe, you can bet I won't be on alone. These things are beyond gay. Zach, the song needs exposure, and the only way to do that is to pour. When the eye has these lobster-like tenacity. Mm. As long as I'm going to be in charge here, let me examine my so-called crew, if it can so be called. You're just going to blast that dumbass song in here, aren't you? Not me. Kids are coming to see the Black Mountain Scorpion Hoedown Bluegrass Experience Gang, featuring Zach Wilde on Washed Up Face. <laughs> I wouldn't want to follow that guy. Hello, I'm Carl, and I'm pissed. Okay, let's light this candle. Don't do it, me what? Damn it! Oh. Go. Tonight at 11. Do Christmas time. Isn't that Santa Claus? Santa Cobra? Oh, oh cartilage! Fry, help! She's turning me into a parade float! Ew, look at her! Electric. Bullshit! Randy! All right, I'm coming. We have a non-believer in our midst. A non-believer, huh? You're invited. What are you thinking, man? Christ has risen once again. That's a really intense thing to say to a child. I think he was referring to himself, whoever he is. Where is the bathroom? What's the catch? Do I have to sit for a presentation or something? And then I get the celery? That's how this hustle works, right? I'm afraid we need to use math. <laughs> Cute. Calm down, little brain. Your science is a lie. What chaps my ass is that the most important decision of your and my lifetime is we let a computer run the show. Computers don't know nothing about championship football. Except for Madden 07. That computer's pretty smart. Dreaming that, oh, well, if I could just get a big enough computer program and store all my memories in some machine, then I will get immortal. Oh, yeah. They don't realize this is literally a hell of a trap. I mean, it's a doorway to hell. I mean, it's the opposite of immortality. Oops. From the back of our minds, we'd know that I'm a man in your janitorial equipment. The true sadness here is that millions of kids out there are getting the wrong idea about roids. 
and so they'll never discover the magic of artificial muscle mass. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. And the douchebags, we will call them, stabbed America in the back and ripped off both Yankees and Patriots everywhere by denying us our rightful throne in America. A bald eagle cried on that day. And Thomas Jefferson and George Washington and the Gipper himself died again in heaven. No, I blame another T.O. The word too. As in too many penalties, too much standing around, and then friggin' throwback jerseys are too red. Never forget, never surrender. When America needed the Yankees the most, you were there. Destiny wanted you to win the fifth straight and show them Al-Qaeda who the real force is. The only good thing to come out of Hawaii is Dog the Bounty Hunter with a prostitute in handcuffs. I feel like I've always wanted to be a peach. If I call me Peach Wad, that feels like a good use of my time. Meat Wad, don't do it! It's just another thing that makes you a very special lady. You mean like my penis? <laughs> yeah! Admit it! See, that's why I'm so pissed this week. All the media attention paid to a couple also ran losers. I ask you, who gives two turds? The G-Men may as well have been out there in mini skirts and pigtails. And where was Fox and CBS when I gave Jeremy Shockey some good tips on how to explode off the line? Do you think I should eat more butter? I'm sure that Barry thought he was injecting flaxseed oil into his spine, retinas, genitals, and pituitary glands. Not steroids. It's an honest mistake. Oh, that's right, Randy. Hydrate him until his bladder releases into the fountain. I eat animals every day. Is someone going to say buffalo wings have a soul? We can't eat them neither? I mean, this is not even close to that, but you know what I'm saying. And not just me, neither. God, too. In the Bible, parents, uh, 3, 19, something, he said, I know if you dumbass sports writers could eat something that make you write at the speed of sound or something, you'd do it in a heartbeat. I know you would. Even if it did shrink your testicles to the size of BBs, which did not happen to me, by the way. I'm huge down here. Black and blue, cold blue, blue balls, NYPD blue, blue is a color long associated with pain and how to dish it out. You, you know, you notice I don't wear red. I sport a simple giant singlet, mesh, limited edition, signed by Jomo Elliott, which provides a slimming effect to my ample middle and offers ventilation to my pits to offset the oniony aroma. So long, filthy caminers. Adios. <laughs> Red is known as a color of losers worldwide. Look at the Falcons, the Red Sox, losers all. And it's not just me saying that, it's science too. This goes back to ancient caveman times. Research has shown that the color red is associated with menstrual blood. Therefore, you're seen as a woman and not a worthy opponent. And they say pure math has no real world applications. You were right. You got them right, I was right. Okay, point made. Point is, when I wear this shirt and I paint my face blue and I wear my little Mets batting helmet that I, you know, I, when you order a Sunday, you get the helmet and you gotta eat the ice cream out of it. When I wear that, people know I mean business. And that's why the Cowboys won. And that's not just Vegas talking, neither, because they're not saying that at all. That's me, Carl. I'll personally spot anyone 14 points, but we both know that the real spread will be somewhere in the 30s. I'm not a rabbit. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are a rabbit. Yes, you are. Yes. No, I'm not. He's not a rabbit, meanwhile, okay? Thank you, Frylock. Boom! You've been pwned. He's totally a rabbit. He's a complete freak of denial. To bad news, me, I failed to take into account the cerebral immune response. You idiot! My whole plan has failed. Mike Vick gave these dogs a purpose, a goal, a reason to live, if ever so briefly. Otherwise, they're just going to lick their balls all day and bark at 2 o'clock in the morning and continue to drop off big goods full of tapeworm all over my front lawn. In some ways, what he did is kind of like getting some inner-city kid off of drugs. But that don't make him a coach. No one got the stones to man up and seize the championship and take what is rightfully theirs. All right. Now we got good luck. Well, you're about to get some bad luck. Straight up your ass till it comes out your mouth. I saw you at the press conference, Eli, smiling and saying that you learned from the game. Four interceptions, three for touchdowns. Oh, did you learn not to throw it to the big guys in the purple shirt? I'm pissed, and I got an American right to be so. 
Wait a minute. I bid you a fond cowabunga. I'm off to laugh at the Reaper. And ain't no dumbass thing bad broad getting in the way of Hoop's destiny. I don't think anyone should sue over it. It's just a quick, harmless little grab ass, you know. A farewell grope as I'm trotting away so they can't identify me. And that's why it's best to do it in crowded subways where there's, you know, confusion. My point is, college is for losers in football and in life. And this season just proves it. But then Nicolas Cage discovered the real treasure was his family. Yes, I'll hold. And also, fire Tom Coughlin. Did I mention that? We need a fire Coughlin. Because I'm pissed. That's why all you brought to tune in. <laughs> don't think I don't know that, sweetheart. So uh, come back next Monday and get your sex fix. When I was 13, I was a little guy. So I acquired some human growth hormone through the proper channels and injected it into my buttocks until they both collapsed. And then ultimately my scrotum. Demonic food lost. Ah, who needs accomplices if I can just use their body? No need to make eye contact. Let's go. I'm in. Okay. Just ask them when the rest of the chain is. All right, relax. Just ask them, okay? Tell Lionel that Snow is gross. That ain't shit. Which one is my rule? Making me hungry. It's funny. I could use a little extra meat on my bones. I'm 60% store spits. He's one onion ring away from exploding all over the drum core. All right. That wasn't a little extra weight. Admit it. You don't care about the inner me at all. Now quit your baloney gargling and... Do you think I should eat more butter? Wait, can I still change my mind? Let's find out. He's in complete freedom denial, so let's not make a big thing about this until I can figure it out, right? What's to figure out? I don't know why they all complain. Bullets are delicious. And that's why it's best to do it in crowded subways where there's, you know, confusion. Train your collective lizards at once! The fountain is filled with spare change. Change. It didn't work, you dattering old... <gasps> Wait a minute, hang on a sec, I gotta concentrate here. Great food, huh? Hello. Sounds like a good balanced dial. I benched 405 that summer. Then I picked up one of them electric treadmills, threw it through a plate glass window, destroying the front end of a Firebird Z28, which was one of my fitness goals that year. My lubricator sheets. Oh, yeah. Use them every 500 ow, pages. Ow. Here's the five white. And then I'll tuck my penis in between my legs and I'll be in his head. Like, hey, hi. What about your dad? Crazy stuff. All right, Peter, what's the plan? I thought you guys were going to have the plan. I formed the posse. Yeah, those usually go together. All right, let's brainstorm. How do we fool the police into breaking someone out of a jail cell? Buy lubricator sheets. Use them every 500 pages. That's right. You want an autograph? No, nah, I just want to say your HelloFresh promo code doesn't work. Oh, did you type it in all caps? Yes. Joe's Gold, all caps. Yes. It's got to be something on their end. Mm, I called them. They said it's your end. And you did all caps. David Geffen paid us $10 million not to do the cutaway. Huh. Was it bad? I'm not allowed to say as part of the settlement. All I will say is from film to music to politics, no one has been more influential than David Geffen. 
I'm surprised you came back for me. You taught me to never leave another man behind. I didn't think you'd remember. I associate you with guns. Guns make me think of war. Vietnam was a war. And Nam is never abandoned man. I, I don't need to hear the process. Alan, you came. Buy lubricator sheets. Use them every 500 pages. Looks like Daddy West is flying the coop again. You keep eating apples like that, Caleb, you're going to get diarrhea. I think we lost them. Pretty sure my chapstick fell out. Almost certain of it. Well, I spy a group of guys that could use a frosty mug of root beer at the A&W. You know, Mayor West, you're pretty lucky to have a stepdad like Alan. I, I don't know, cowboy stuff? I didn't realize there was going to be a quiz. Well, it's probably time to hang this up, huh, Dad? Yep, I suppose so. The David Geffen living room? What, what is this? Oh, the lawyer said since he gave us $10 million, he's contractually entitled to have his name on a part of the house. That doesn't seem fair. I know. So and the mainstream media don't want you to know that. Meanwhile, Tom Brady is parading around New York in our house in a walking. I got the thermostat jacked up to 88 to match game time conditions in Phoenix. I got three kegs of low carb beer to get me through to the weekend. And I took out a subprime second mortgage on my pad. Okay, everyone. I stocked the fridge with healthy food. Your weight is a reflection on me, so no pizza. Oh, the pizza. Now, that's an idea. Well, we're here for two nights, so my hair dryer, my iron, my free weights, and I thought maybe if I had a minute, I'd roll a plate, my CPAP machine, and bedside table. The obesity epidemic. Oh, you think that overthrow interception to R.W. McWhorters was a coincidence? <laughs> Fine. Keep your head in the sand. I won't get no thanks, but we all know it was me screaming at my TV. But then I got a brainwave. I set up an appointment with a stylist at the mall to get a colored brunette. We have reached our final destination. I do accept tips, and I also offer them. Do not become a high school principal. <sighs> Buy lubricator sheets. Use them every 500 pages. Now, Wild, I do not want your blood sugar to get too low, so look what I brought you. A juice box. Oh, look who's here. Hello, Old West. Alan, I see you still got the Civic running. Where did our bike go? Sorry, it's gone. Sold it to a guy on Craigslist. What are we supposed to do now? I could give you a lift. I'm already headed in that direction, but I'm afraid we're going to have to leave your mangled man behind. He'll only slow us down. It'll be dark soon. You're going to need this. There's six bullets in there. Five for prey, one for yourself. We'll tell your wife you love her. No, that's okay. Buy lubricator sheets. Use them every 500 pages. I should have never listened to you, Peter. If I had my gun, I would have gotten out of this. I was only trying to help. You want to help? Take this Paiute hand and put it in a safe place. Oh, okay, yeah, I got well, Wait a minute. I'm going to need you boys to turn right back around. Man, Wes, we broke him out for you. Can't you see he wants to make things right? David Geffen, good night. Let he who hasn't injected the extract from a grizzly bear's pituitary gland straight into his belly button cast the first stone. Or maybe you stupid women need a little more testosterone in your diet. <laughs> but seriously, all you are just mad because Clemens left and signed with us because we have more money and power. Hey, more than likely, it's probably a camera. He had surgically affixed to his big cobo during the bye week. So... Nobody look! This is a private gross matter! Peter, that's two inches. Saliva starts at the taint, Lois. You always measure from the wrong place. Brian? Thank you. I'll just... The end. Oh, hey, Lois. Wow, look at you, reading a book, huh? Oh, yeah, I read everything people leave on planes. I read the Da Vinci Code four times. Shut up. I knew it was real spaghetti. All right, I'm going to go get us some coffees. You mind holding down the Ford for a sec? Thanks much. Real spaghetti. Wow. He's gone. Everybody out to Black Jean's door. No. Manna from heaven. More like guts from hell. Eat it, baby. Do it for us. Try a flavor. I'm just high enough to try. No, Bert, do not eat that. I think he's had a heart attack. He's 
hit. Oh my god, Dad, this is terrible. I know. Your mother is gonna find out we had pizza. It's probably just the pizza talking, but I love you guys. All those in favor of Meg getting in the dead guy's clothes with him and scarecrowing him in, raise your hand. Fine, I'll do it. But only because I'm starved for human contact and he's not fully cold yet. I mean, when you got that standing ovation for comparing the estate tax to the Holocaust, I felt like the bell of a ball. I really enjoyed spending time with you, too. Well, no sense wasting it. <sighs> hey, did you end up working out in the morning like you said you were gonna? What was it, 40 minutes cardio, then a Pilates class? Did you do both of those? No, I didn't do both of those. Ladies, I took the liberty of requesting our meal be soy-free, meat-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, cage-free, carb-free, and cruelty-free. And then I snuck you eat your cinnamon bun because all that other stuff's from Democrats. Say that now, but last night you were out working that waitress. I think that made me feel, huh? It made me feel like my best years are behind me. What? Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, and for my can! Ladies, you don't know by now, that was and leave you prone to the NY football giants defensive line. I was about to be hung upside down from a bridge. Now I can finally buy that 50 inch plasma screen for my bedroom. Keep watching it over and over and over again on your spy cam. The end result is still the same. Eli Hoist trophy, cut to commercial. Look at that. I have the ability to piss off food. Uh, speaking of piss, gee, ah, I have got to pee. See you guys. Coward. Well, that was pointless. No food. I'm starving. You know what? Let's just sleep it off. We'll eat in our dreams. We can order whatever you want. I want attention. Just say so. Just say, hey, I need a hug. Okay? You're right. <laughs> That's crazy. I have been talking to a noodle for a year. Don't worry about it. All right, let's go out and enjoy this beautiful day while we sun our new beards. Yeah! Get on point. Or blow your brains out, because frankly, that's what you're doing if you don't listen to me. And you bet all your money where I told you to. Or don't. Remain stupid and poor. And also, have a very Merry Christmas, dummy. There's a whole table in here? Travel Peloton, every robe I've ever owned, and my desktop computer. It's got my email on there. Lois, I have an umbilical hernia. Bring out, you know, the color in my eyes. Because of you, you know I'm a badass! Oh, yeah. On Sunday, the beast slayed the prey and butchered the meat. <laughs> That's the story. The analysis? Hey, you're Joe from Joe's Gold. Guilty as charged. Your Hello Fresh promo code doesn't work. No, we don't have any sponsors. I just made that up. If it's meant to be, she'll accept you in a room full of distractingly floral wallpaper. If not, she'll stab you in the liver with your own boot knife. That's how I met my pearl. Amani Tuma, he owns a rare 108-inch plasma screen TV, but you'd never know about it if I hadn't vlogged about it. I've been waiting for you, Georgia. I haven't eaten all day. Buy lubricator sheets. Use them every 500 pages. Jeff Beagles is passionate about barbecue, yet I have not seen one feature about how he likes to grill out in his backyard. His nails were dirty, but his hat was pure. Okay, time to drop him in a river of dung. He's stuck! Oh crap, it's Lois! You know, what the hell is going on? You ordered pizza, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I don't care. I love you, Peter. And I have a confession for you. I went to my high school reunion this weekend and I didn't invite you. What? Thank you! Oh, thank you! I'm sorry, Leela. I hope that didn't make you ashamed to be seen with me. Buckeyes can suck it. Oh, wait, I mean, the Ohio State suck eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I come up with that, and I'm putting it on visors and mesh tees. So don't even think about it. Ohio State against LSU? 
for number one? Or they're just tied 0 0 and going to infinite overtime until the Super Bowl so I can finally change the friggin' channel. And then, you know, you look around and see if any girls are watching, respecting you. Hello, girls here. The mall's closed, dude. An hour ago, my rabbit, son. I'm not a rabbit. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are a rabbit. Yes, you are. Yes. No, I'm not. I have traveled a great distance, and now I will kick back by jamming on some keys, as I am wont to do. You know, Enki sees that the solar system is now being taken back from the Nebu Gray Anunnaki Draco, which is great. And by the way, the bad guys will be back, and we got to get our show together quick. <laughs> but Enki is not actually... Um, Enki is, is, believes in non-interference very deeply. So he ain't here to fix it. No. <laughs> He's here to watch and to plant the proper seeds for the correct environment and find out if we get our shit together or not. He ain't here to fix it. No, <laughs> no way. So when he said he brought back the recipe, what that effectively means is, you know, what is the key to the recipe, to DNA that makes a soul? Is what I'm teaching you right now. I am here. Enki Thoth's symbol, Hermes Caduceus, is today named phase conjugation. And that's me. Uh, nobody else is teaching this on this planet, but me, I'm here. Well, I'm the representative for that, for better or for worse. I ain't perfect. No, no. But if you want the lesson, here it is. Take it or leave it. So uh, the Adam Cadmon is a name for a template of a genetic lineage that connects directly back to the heart of the stars. I mean, the, the true intelligent galactic core cultures. Their DNA template is an ancient ancient implosive recipe and the clues to that is in our words it doesn't mean we need to go and hack up our dna again no actually if you get enough kundalini that is the dna implosion in essence because when you sit there in the fusion electric lightning of kundalini man there is nothing else that's needed to implode dna that's it that's the recipe made that absolutely so i am absolutely convinced for example that intense human bliss which is the key to this recipe is basically the success of the recipe practical example on the day when saint francis of assisi walked down down the hill a little bit on a beautiful mountain there and he was with claire and they sat there and they were having so much bliss that everybody in the town called the fire department true story <laughs> what was that plasma for hello <laughs> try that they didn't need their dna re-engineered no no that fusion is the climax function of dna and that kind of radiance will steer stars is very cool anyway just my opinion the man hit 73 ding dongs in one year that alone should earn him the respect of a media blackout and you're taking away his ability to work he has a family i think i know he got that ex-girlfriend in playboy she's freaking ridiculous you see the rack on her i motor both those chest hands in a minute <laughs> thank you frylock boom you've been pwned he's totally right he's in complete freaking denial so let's not make a big thing about this until i can figure it out all right what's to figure out look brother i got a doctorate in cranial mechanics the willed mutation of the species by sockprem but there's one example but the cedars is a bigger example so yes you can modulate dna evolution over millions of years to create the possibility of coherent soul absolutely it doesn't mean that gene genetic mod modification is evil by definition no <laughs> Hanky was a pretty good genetic engineer. But if you don't got a clue what a soul is, then keep your damn hands off the DNA. But if I had made the film, you can bet there would have been more topless women on motorcycles. Roll film. If I'm going down, I'm taking you all with me. again then there's another verse about the death cycle which zach and i both feel is really important to repeat. Magic 
sure I am gonna miss Old West. He taught me a lot about friendship and what it means to be a dad. Like what? What, what did he teach you? I, I don't know, cowboy stuff? I didn't realize there was gonna be a quiz. Well, it's probably time to hang this up, huh, Dad? Yep, I suppose so. The David Geffen living room? What, what is this? Oh, the lawyer said since he gave us $10 million, he's contractually entitled to have his name on a part of the house. That doesn't seem fair. I know, such rich guy bullcrap. But we'll have to continue this conversation on next week's episode of David Geffen's Family Guy. What? David Geffen, good night!